Okay, now we define the triple product. Okay, definition of triple product. Uh, this is actually easy. Let's say we have three vectors A, B, and C, which are three dimensional vectors. Okay, then the triple product is this A dot. Uh, B cross C. Okay, this dot means a scalar product between A and B cross C. Okay, so in, in a previous in the previous notation, this is uh, this this would be written as this A and B cross C. Okay, and so this is a scalar. So this is a real number. Okay. So this B cross C is a vector in three dimensional space and A is a vector in three dimensional space. So their scalar product is a scalar. Okay. So it's a number, not a vector. Okay. Be careful. This is different from this. Uh, so order matters, okay? So if you write, for example, uh, let's say B dot A cross C, this is completely different from this. Okay, they are different. Now, uh, here is a little uh, cute little theorem regarding uh, a triple product. So let's say A, B, C are three dimensional vectors. Then this triple product A dot B cross C can be expressed as a determinant. Okay, here A, B, C they are row vectors. Okay, so let's prove this. So let's say A has elements A1, A2, A3, and B has elements B1, B2, B3. C has elements C1, C2, C3. And by the definition of cross product, uh, B cross C is this B, so that's B this this uh, B2 C3 minus B3 C2 and B3 C1 minus B1 C3 and B1 C2 minus B2 C1 okay so now we take the scalar product dot product between A and B cross C. So again from the definition of the scalar product this is A1 times this B2 C3 minus B3 C2 and plus A2 and the second element B3 C1 minus B1 C3 and plus A3 times the third element, B1, C2, and B2, C1. Okay. Now, uh, maybe we should swap the sign of the second term. So let's put a negative sign here and change the order of this. So that would be, uh, let's see, so B1 C3 minus B3 C1. Okay, so we just put the minus sign out to here. Okay, then if you look closely, you should notice that this is, no, this is the determinant of this. B2, B3, C2, C3, and minus A2, 
and B1, B3, C1, C3, and plus A3, A3, uh, B1, B2, C1, C2. But uh, this is the determinant of this 3x3 three three matrix. A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, uh, C3. So that is it. And we are done. Now, because we know, now we know that uh, the triple product can be expressed as a determinant of 3x3 three three matrix, then we have the following nice corollary. So that's a okay, corollary. By the way, corollary means a little theorem that can be easily derived from another theorem. Okay, so we, we say uh, this is a cor corollary to this theorem. Okay, so we have this uh, result a, b, do, a dot b cross c is equal to c dot uh, c dot a cross b, which is equal to uh, b dot. Uh, C cross A. So how is that? You know, uh, A dot B cross C is a determinant. A, B, C. So if we swap the, the rows of a determinant, then uh, then we have Let's, let's swap A and C. Then we have a negative of the determinant, right? So C, A. So we swapped A and C, the first row and the third row. Then we have this negative sign. Okay, then if we swap, let's see, uh, the second row and the third row, then we have again negative sign, which will cancel this negative sign. So we have C A B, which is C dot A cross B. And the same holds uh, true for this one. So if we swap from this point, if we swap B and C, then we have B uh, C A which is b dot c cross a. Okay, so uh, you can memorize this in this way. So this is a, b, c, then you put a uh, in the third position, then push b to the first position, then you get this expression. Okay, oh, let's uh, write it. So a B, C. So, and B, C, A. So if we move A to the last position, then B is moved forward and C is moved forward. Okay? Then again, put uh, B to the last position then move C to the forward position and A to the forward position then you have this so this is like a circular permutation okay or is it is the right word circular permutation so it's like a circle so A goes back and everything else moves forward and B goes back everything moves forward and so on then if you put push C to the back again, we are back to the first expression, right? OK. 
Okay. And here is another corollary. That is uh, a dot a cross b is zero. Okay. Why? Again, this uh, triple product can be expressed as a determinant. So in that determinant, there are two rows with the same num numbers. You know, two rows contain the same vector a. Okay. If the two if two rows are the same in a matrix, then its determinant is zero. So therefore, this result. Okay, you should check that. And of course, we have uh, b dot a cross b is equal to zero also. It's for the same reason. Okay. So what does this mean? Okay, let's say in three dimensions, we have two vectors, suppose. So a and b. Okay, so we, uh, if we take the cross product between A and B, then the result is another vector. So it's another vector. Uh, actually, it should be, let's say this is A and this is B because that's easier to write. So if we take A cross B, then the result is some vector. Okay. But that vector, this cross product, is perpendicular to A or B, right? So this is perpendicular, to, uh, let's write in red, this is perpendicular to A, and this is also perpendicular to B. Okay, so these are right angles. That's what this means. So if you uh, calculate the cross product between two vectors, that cross product is perpendicular to both the vectors. Okay. And actually, if you, uh, so, uh, if you calculate A times B, A cross B, then you have the vector in this direction. Okay, so this is like this. If you uh, rotate A vector A to B, if that uh, is in the anti-clockwise order, so, so it's, if it's in anti-clockwise, then uh, this vector is up. Well, of course, in three dimension, which direction is anti-clockwise or clockwise makes no sense, really. But uh, so if you look at uh, this result as this, uh, like uh, if you have these three vectors, A, B, and A cross B, then if you look down A and B from this direction, from this direction, so opposite direction of A times B. So if you say, suppose your eyes are here, your eyes are here, and looking down A and B, then it looks like you rotated A to B in clock in anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So this is so-called uh, right-handed set. Okay. So if you put a right hand uh, uh, point, uh, let's see, point uh, this direction you using your pointing finger and point this direction of B using your uh, middle finger, then the direction of A cross B is your, uh, the direction of your thumb, of your right hand, not left hand. Okay, so it's, it's called right-handed set. A right-handed coordinate set. So what if uh, then 
if you have uh, vectors like A and B. A, B. So in this case, the direction of uh, A cross B is this direction. Okay. Uh, so still it's perpendicular to both A and B. You see? So you point this direction using your uh, pointing finger with your middle finger, then the thumb is pointing this direction. Right? So that's called a, a right handed coordinate system. So this is the convention we usually use in mathematics or physics. Right? So that's x, y. So the z direction is this direction. Okay? Not this direction. So this is called right handed set. So if you point this using your pointing finger of your right, right hand and uh, middle finger, then the thumb should point to the direction of Z coordinate, positive Z. Okay, it's the same for cross product. Okay, another uh, corollary is this. Uh, a cross B plus C. So this is a distributive law. Is A cross B plus A cross C. So you should be able to prove this in either way. You can just calculate this directly using the definition of cross product and vector addition. Or you can use uh, the property of uh, determinants which we have proved uh, in, in a previous lecture.